Happy weekend. Did you know that testing isn't the only way to measure the understanding of your students? In fact, testing can sometimes be bad based on three reasons. One, formal tests may cause anxiety and if students are nervous, they may underperform during the test. Two, formal tests seek to measure a student's ability to memorize information, which is a bit limited. And three, formal tests may have time constraint and this is detrimental to slower students hence explaining why for today's video i'll be sharing with you three other methods that you can use to like evaluate your students but before i dive onto this method i urge you to hit the subscribe button and of course sign up for channel membership according to fluentu.com the first alternative method that you can use to evaluate your students is oral assessment you can use oral assessment to evaluate your students and there are many forms in which you can implement oral assessment for example role play in case you're teaching english to esl learners you may want to give an assignment for the students to like prepare on a topic and come to class and role play or perhaps if it's adult learners you may give them a mini project about interview and when they come to class they have to interview each other and with this format of evaluation you should always have a checklist that will help you to like give scores to the students and your checklist may contain things like time yeah confidence and of course audibility how well are the students presenting the facts are they speaking too low or perhaps they are shy these are some aspects you may want to consider as far as oral presentation is concerned second alternative testing method you may want to use is non-verbal assessment as a word go non-verbal this is a format of evaluation whereby you allow the students to like act out certain vocabularies in order to test their understanding for example you may have taught a topic like emotion and you shout out a vocab like angry and you tell your students to like draw a picture of an angry face once they draw this picture correctly that will show that the students actually understand the meaning of the word angry and you can go on with other vocabularies like smiling happy face nervous shy hungry once they are able to draw all these uh, vocabularies related to emotion then it actually proves that the students understand your lesson another format you can use with this non-verbal assessment is mind actions or mind games again with emotions you may call out a word like smiling and tell the student to act out this word if he or she is able to smile this will definitely show that the student actually understand the vocabulary which you mentioned so the non-verbal assessment is a good method to test students that are shy perhaps unable to read and write or express themselves and the last testing method that you may want to use is actually a written assessment like i mentioned in the beginning of this video there are some students who may be good in reading writing and even speaking and there are others who might not be good in these three aspects so if you implement all these testing measures it will help to like evaluate everybody in the classroom and your evaluation method will be fair so with the third aspect written assessment it gives students who are good in writing the opportunity to like showcase their understanding of your lessons and of course you can think of simple written assessment methods like spelling b personally i always do this perhaps you may tell your students that you should go home and prepare on certain topic because tomorrow you have a spelling test once they come in the morning you give out words perhaps 10 words and ask the students to write down these words maybe one at a time for example open your book write a date and number from one to ten the first word is school and you ask them to try as much as possible 
to spell out the words that you'll be given. After that, you correct the exercise and from there, you will be able to measure and tell if your students have actually understood your lessons. I hope these three alternative testing methods helps you to like evaluate your student during the course of the school year. And once again, remember, a formal test isn't the only way to measure the comprehensive nature of a certain lesson towards your students. These other methods that I've mentioned will actually help you to like test every student in your classroom in a fair and professional way. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow in my live session and please once again hit the subscribe button. I love you all.